Hello everyone, welcome back to my shop. Um, got an old Milwaukee drill here. I got it from my grandfather. He uh, asked to see if I could fix it. Um, so we're going to tear into this thing and um, see what's wrong with it, see if we can't get it fixed. And uh, at the same time, kind of see how Milwaukee used to build their drills. Um, it's always nice to see older tools see what they're made of um, and see how much differently things were made 20 years ago compared to now um, so we're gonna take this thing apart see what's going on on the inside see why it's not working and uh, see if we can't get this thing fixed and up and going again all right we're gonna start we're gonna pull all these screws out so Pull off the trigger. <whistles> to clarify, my grandfather is a carpenter. He builds all kinds of stuff. Alright, right off the bat, one thing I'm seeing, and is probably most obvious, metal. It's got a metal housing. That's uh, pretty nice, they don't do that anymore. But this whole motor, drive, all the drive mechanism is metal. This entire piece is metal. Um, which is awesome. It's very nice, very, very nice. Got our brushes here. We're going to pull those out and take a look, make sure that's not our problem. All right. brushes are actually in really really good shape where are we at there we are come on focus focus there we go you can see they're in pretty good shape got a lot of meat left on them all right let's set that there got a couple more screws small little ones Appears to be what holds our whole handle assembly together. Oh, scoot you back a little bit. All right. So we pulled our handle apart. That wire is good and pinched. And that just pulled out of there. I think it was right here. Well, that's no good. Well, it holds the wire okay. Just a wiper in there. There's no detent, no actual default switch. Got a lock mechanism. Got your forward and reverse. Let's see. No, we can't get this switch assembly apart here. So, while we got that other handle off, we're going to pull out our bottom brush. Strangely enough, they put the brushes on the top and the bottom. I don't understand why they wouldn't have put them on the sides, but... May have been a good reason for it. Alright, we're going to take a look at this brush here. 
Good and clean. This drill, I want to say, is very old and very used. My grandfather is not gentle on his drills. Let's see. Little bitty wires on the windings here. I mean, just little bitty ones. They are epoxy coated. Not with much epoxy, but it's there. A little bit of fiberglass tape. But if you can see, there's no epoxy on the com bar here. And if you saw my last video, you'll know that there was some on the Harbor Freight chainsaw motor. So we had some in a Harbor Freight chainsaw and we don't have any in a Milwaukee drill. By the way, they have one of these old nice data plates that are metal, not just a piece of sticker stuck on there. But what I was saying about not being gentle on tools, yeah, it's just throwing it down, throwing it in the <clears throat> throwing it in the toolbox, throwing it on the work table. Everything like that. Alright, we're gonna see if we can pull this off and get our armature out of here. And so far, I'm not seeing anything that would tell me this thing has gone bad. Don't necessarily know what's wrong with it. Might be one of those things you take it apart and put it back together and it starts working again. <coughs> but we'll see what happens when we get a little deeper into this thing. It's not going to come out because of the chuck. So we'll just leave those in there. Alrighty. Tear this guy down. There's something holding me. There we go. You can see our gear reduction in here. Just gotta. Yeah. Forget what that's called. A worm and wheel gear, but it's not because they're. It's a helical gear. Thank you. That's, that's what I was thinking of. Good, strong metal gears on there. And they're not powdered metal gears, you know, they're actual full, full on gears. You can see, just in real good shape, especially for age. And these uh, edges aren't even too sharp, so it isn't wearing too bad. pretty nice all right let's see if we can't get this motor out of here a little twisty action there here it comes there we go all right so we have our motor armature a little rusty you can see where they balanced it they just used a drill and drilled a couple little balancing holes in there Got a uh, metal fan, single direction. That grease is about as hard as it can be. I'm gonna put some new grease in here before we put it all back together. Let's see, bearing is in good shape. 
and that's the back bearing and it's huge for a back bearing usually the back bearings are smaller than the front bearings and in this case it looks to be the other way around can't see how big this bearing is in here it's, ah, it didn't come apart okay I don't know if you can hear that. Not bad. Got some rust on here from just being in a shop constantly. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to take a minute and clean out all this old grease and be right back. Alright, well, got into it. I can't really find anything other than this switch mechanism, this wire pulling out of here other than that I can't find anything that would tell me this thing is bad and I put this wire in here a lot harder and got it to go all the way in and it seems to be holding now so hopefully this was his issue and that fixed it so we're gonna put this thing back together and uh, see if it works and I'll bring you back as soon as I get it all together. Okay, before I uh, start putting it back together, I wanted to show you. Looks like there's some corrosion on the windings. And they are getting a little bit dark. But this is an old tool, and I know he has put this thing through its paces. So, we're still going to truck on along, put it together, and see if that switch wire was our issue. We got the housing back together. Now let's see if we can cram all this inside of this little bitty clamshell and have it fit back together correctly. Our trigger is a little sticky, so I'm going to use a little bit of white lithium grease. We can't get this guy in here. Uh oh, where'd that come from? Alright everyone, what do you think is going to happen? Everything is back together, it went back together fairly nice. Um, I want to sum this drill up. It was bought 30 years ago and if it works now it will still be working after 30 years. So we're going to give it some juice and see what happens. Ready? One, two, three. Aha! Oh, she's got some torque to her. All right. Well, this drill is done. Um, come back in next week. I'll be putting in a video of a Makita drill that's like this it's extremely old and um, isn't working it was also given to me by my grandfather he wanted me to see if I could do something with it possibly fix it so we're gonna see if we can and I'm gonna let y'all watch and see how it's done if it can be done all right so I'm gonna take this back to him it's just a good drill take that back to him and uh, let him enjoy that and let him know he'll get his Makita back next week. And uh, come on back and watch me do the next one, guys. It'll be a real fun little time. I'm trying to, you know, get a lot of tools coming in and show how things were built, 
how they're built now, how the how they are built compared to other tools. Um, so it's gonna be a real fun channel to subscribe to and you know watch and see what we do on a weekly basis. And um, yeah, that's about it. This little Milwaukee is a good drill. It says a lot that I was able to take it apart and fix it. Apparently that trigger, that wire had come out of the trigger, making it no longer work. So we're back to good now, and uh, I thank y'all for watching. And uh, subscribe if you want to see some more stuff like this. Leave some comments down below if you uh, have any suggestions of what you want me to take apart. Uh, something maybe you want to see how it works and how it ticks and we'll take it apart together and see how it goes um so everyone have a wonderful day and i'll see you on the next one thank you